it's February 20th, 2023. And right now I'm a bit tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, it was one of those nights, if you've ever had one, where you wake up in the middle of the night and start thinking and ruminating on something and your brain just gets going and then you can't shut it off and you can't go back to sleep. So I had one of those nights. Um, but the the particular thing that I was ruminating on was a situation I was uh, envious about. So I thought I'd give a little reflection on envy. Uh, so yeah, the situation, I saw someone doing something that I came up with really well and I was envious of them. I wanted to be successful in that the way they were. And, um, you know, we often think of uh, sins that people can commit and we think of maybe uh, greed or lust and sexual sin or murder and, and things like that that are like really blatant and obvious but we don't always think of envy and you know it's it's really destructive so I think it's good to have desires and goals and dreams and, and strive for great things. That's not a bad thing. But envy has this particular quality that um, is different than that. It's like not being satisfied with your situation and grasping for something you're not supposed to have. Like something that God didn't intend for you to have. And in the process, often we end up sacrificing the things that we are supposed to have in order to grasp the thing that we're not supposed to have. It could be relationships or um, time or what, whatever it is. We end up grasping for these things that we don't need and we're not supposed to have and we give up the good things that we should be grateful for. And envy is such a particularly important topic right now because it's rampant in our society. I mean, we have social media right now and we're bombarded with highlight reels of other people's lives. And it's really easy to look at that and be like, I want to be like them. I, I don't want to be myself. I want to be like them. And in a way, you're rejecting the gift of yourself that, that God created you to be. And so envy is actually very dangerous. It's destructive. God gave us commandments for a reason. They're, they're there to help us live our lives well and, and to help our lives go better and it doesn't mean it's going to be all sunshine and rainbows or anything like that life can still be hard but it's kind of like using the human operating manual like when you do God's commands you're operating under the normal circumstances he created us to operate under and so life is going to go better if you you follow those commands you know, I was uh, talking with uh, a, another guy at the hospital today who does the hyperbaric treatments with me. He's around my age. We have a lot in common. He was in a motorcycle accident. and uh, So we were just talking about the healing process and how it's easy to feel down about, you know, not being able to work out. You know, I'd lost a lot of weight. Um, I'm I'm just not as healthy in general because I'm not able to be active. I can't go and do a lot of the things I would normally be able to do. There's like all these things we, we want uh, to, to get better to be able to get to that place. And 
you know, I was thinking about it. I'm like, healing is this interesting process where oftentimes it's so gradual that you don't realize it has even happened until one day you're just sitting there and you're like, oh man, I'm like back to normal. And so right now my purpose is to just accept the conditions that I have right now, except that I can't work out or, um, you know, do super nice grooming habits or whatever it is, you know, um, I, I, I just have to take care of myself in a different way right now. And I can be grateful for that. And that will get me to where I need to go. And so I was thinking of a, a couple different solutions for envy. And so if you're you're feeling like you're envious of something, if you you're not satisfied with your own life and you want what someone else has, um there's a couple things you can do. One is gratitude. So just find things you're grateful for in your life and and realize the the gifts and the blessings that you already have and the other thing you can do is have faith and faith is a a a virtue that god gives to us so it's a gift but we can accept it and you know envy really is in a in a way it's faithlessness like we're thinking that where God has us isn't right. We don't trust that God has us in the right spot. And so we're seeking something outside of the gifts that God has given us in particular. And so faith is another solution to envy. Because if you have faith, you trust that God has you in the right spot. So that's it for my reflection today. I hope it's beneficial to you. Peace.